Dear chess friends, welcome to my new video. It's been a while since I published my previous opening file, but I have been really, really busy uh, and eventually I published my chessable, uh, new chessable course, volume one of resourceful defense and counterplay. For those who are interested who follow my publication, I'll put the link in the description of this video and you can go on Chessable platform and, and check this very, very interesting course. Now, here, uh, my new opening idea, uh, my new video, and so it's a new video and published on my webpage, askavrok.com. We're, we're going to talk about very interesting advanced opening, which called Modern Vienna. Now, as you probably know, those who follow my work, I have three different categories on my webpage. So actually, now it will be new category, advanced level. I think it's pretty advanced opening. I also noticed there are many, many advanced players who are interested in my files. So I decided to produce uh, something for more advanced level. What is the advanced level? I would say 1800, 1900 FIDE and up. All the way up I think it's very detailed very comprehensive file so it would be a great fit if somebody interested uh, to play this complex opening now it doesn't mean that somebody who is like in the beginning of his opening chess journey maybe with the rating 600 1600 cannot try this like push himself or have a, like the opening for his future games maybe on the higher level, it's it's also definitely a possibility, but uh, my recommendation will be 18, 1900 plus. Uh, so what is modern Vienna variation? Now uh, we are going to talk about the following opening. So the starting position here, d4, d5, c4, e6, knight c3, knight f6, knight f3, d4. Now this is Vienna, the starting position of opening, well-known opening, which called Vienna. Now, very important to mention that besides this move order, probably even more popular move order when it happens instead of d5, uh, black plays knight f6, c4, e6, there is a choice, knight c3, knight f3, g3, white chooses knight f3, very often we play d5 and after knight c3, dc4 we get uh vienna uh, the the same position so there are actually two move orders and it can happen uh in both cases now let's let's go back to our position so that's starting position of this variation now without any doubts e4 is the most challenging the most critical move in this position talking about alternatives uh i i would like f first of all there is e3 uh, just with idea to regain the pawn. In, it's very well known that in this position we respond with a6. And now two options. If white captures bishop c4, we get b5 with tempo, bishop b3. Well, there is bishop d3, of course, also covered bishop b7. But the, the point is like we are easily getting c5. We have a very convenient setup. So we actually transpose to queen's gambit accepted, but the one like old-fashioned Queen's Gambit accepted. I'm talking about white variation, which considered to be pretty good for black. It's well-established, and I don't see any big developments recently here in this line. Now, white, uh, in this position, instead of capturing bishop c4, of course, can try a4. Uh, now, this line, it's well-known line for quick, well, for quick draws, I would say, like, uh, simplifying uh, position which goes bishop c4, knight c6, castle, bishop e7, and then we have a pressure against d4 pawn, so if white plays queen e2, we take on d4, and it's very, very well-known line, where there are like probably hundreds and hundreds of games. Rook d1, we respond with e5, uh, white captures on d4, so there is this nice tactical trick, knight d4, knight d4, queen e5, but we just trade queen d6, and uh, it's basically equal endgame after trading queens, rook d4 and bishop c5. So now, for, for those who would ask, like, how to play for a win in this position, I also have an answer. I prepared an interesting alternative. I think 
uh, in this position, instead of playing uh, move c5, we can try b6, uh, going for fianchetto, bishop c4, bishop b7, castle, bishop b4, with very complex middle game, somewhat resembles maybe a main line of Slav, classical Slav. So we have this position. I think in both cases, black, uh, black is doing pretty well. So we talked about move e3. Now I would like to mention also queen a4 check. This one is not dangerous at all. We play knight c6 and uh, with the point that after uh, queen c4 we have a uh, very, uh, very nice jump with tempo knight b4 threatening knight c7. After queen b3 we get c5. All is covered. Uh, black easily solves his opening problems. Now, back to the main position. So what's going on here with our main line, e4. Now, what is modern Vienna variation? It's basically move b5. Move that recently has been very fashionable uh, on every level. I, I see games of Magnus, Nakamura, uh, Jeffrey Jung, like oh, basically all top players have been playing this line for uh, one of the colors, um, now, now ma many times for black as well. Uh, so b5 is, is like latest word in this line before uh, there is a well-known move bishop before, so this is classical Vienna variation. In this case, uh, we have an old line where uh, white is playing bishop g5, black responds with c5 usually, and so on. Or we have a very interesting pawn sacrifice that I probably would highly recommend to white players. Bishop c4, knight e4, castle. It's, it's a lot of theory here. There are like a lot of games. It's a fun line to learn here. Uh, very, very exciting play, especially playing with initiative. Uh, so it's only one pawn. It's very dangerous to take the second pawn on c3. Now, so what do we have? We have move b5 here in this position. Now there are like two choices. First choice is to take on b5 and the main line will be uh, e5. So now knight b5, uh, we have, uh, we, we take the central pawn, knight e4. Uh, there are a couple of lines here. Uh, now the main move will be queen a4. Now the point that bishop c4, we give check and we are getting like really good position. There is no bishop d2 here because after knight d2, knight d2, we attack the knight first and then we get central pawn and black is doing great. Clear advantage, extra pawn. So he cannot play bishop d2. Uh, has to go king f1 and we just castle. Complicated game, not so bad. King is so, not so bad on f1, but it's uh, definitely not optimal for white. So we have a uh, very complicated middle game. Black is doing uh, black is doing absolutely fine here in this position. The main move is queen a4. One more move that I would like to mention because there was high profile game here between... Uh, actually, I'm, I'm not sure it's happened here, but not, not, knight c3, we have move. Knight e6, so here the line bishop e2, bishop e7, let's say castle, castle, like we easily solve the problems. Knight e5, bishop b7, uh, d5 in this position, so one of the moves, so it's very aggressive. We can play knight e7, so th those kind of lines actually, uh, th this is one of the games black took over after f4 and knight f5, and now suddenly dark squares are problematic. We, we are coming with the move bishop c5 in this position and uh, it's it's great now uh so this is finally th this is another line and uh, the main line uh, played uh i think like a few times by magnus uh, queen a4 uh we play c6 i believe the most accurate the most simple so i was talking about high profile game so this is carlson nepo 2021 it's here in this position knight c3 take take bishop a6 so the most simple straightforward solution I don't see what white can offer here besides capturing on c4, take, take, queen c4, bishop d6, and now black just slowly prepares c5, castle, castle, rook b1, play queen c7, queen d3, knight d7, next move c5, and Nepo easily solved uh, his opening problems. If, if I'm not mistaken, black even won in this game, but of course this position is equal. So uh, the, the, this is the line with knight takes b5, of course, much more challenging e5 and in this case we play knight d5 knight b5 
and knight b6. So this is our initial position of this variation. Modern Vienna, you can see a lot of high level games here. So what we get in this position, so it's it's very complex and that's the reason that I decided it's uh, it's probably too early for uh, somebody with like rating, let's say 1000 or 1300 or 1500. So it's too complicated, uh, too complicated, uh, like many, many features here, of course, we have problematic pawn on c4 that can be lost and uh, white uh, in some lines might be able to capture uh, pawn on c4 but it doesn't mean always that it secures their advantage because we uh, it's very important we have control over d5 square in this position so we, we get of course bishop to b7 and so on now pawn on d4 is problematic uh, in some cases we we are able to put the pressure on the d4 pawn so there are many, many, many interesting lines here. Um, I, I think I have uh, full coverage of this line. Uh, now, uh, here in this position, just to show you a couple of developments, let me, uh, so, so two options, let, let's say, start with bishop e3. In this case, we jump knight c6, uh, the main line uh, a3. And now we have this interesting development, queen d7 we play, so knight on b5, we potentially have the idea to take knight e5, that uh, knight on b5 is hanging here, so there, there is this uh, knight e5 tactics. Uh, now knight c3 and we develop bishop b7, so there is this flexible uh, development potentially, uh, now uh, we can dream about even queenside castle in some lines, but here for instance, after bishop e2, we can play knight a5, so the pawn is well protected. Now we open up the bishop. Now, on the other hand, after uh, after the move, instead of bishop e2, if white plays queen c2, maybe preparing rook d1, we can play knight e7. So very nice idea. After knight d2, knight f5. So now targeting d4 and e3. So a lot of different ideas, a, a lot of different move orders here. So that was a, a3 move. Uh, t talking about maybe bishop e2 here. Uh, we will transpose to actually bishop e2 line. So that's not really um, problematic for us. So l let's talk about knight c3. In this case, we, we kind of like play very, very normal stuff. Bishop e7, bishop e2, castle, castle. And again, we'll have this position through bishop e2 move forward. Now, bishop e2 is the main line. Uh, knight c6, castle and bishop e7 this time. So this time is solid. Uh, now, very natural, probably the most natural, especially for those who like place this position for the first time. Uh, it would be just normal development, playing bishop e3. So we have castle, uh, knight c3 in this position. And uh, again, it, there is always choices for white, for black here. Uh, now, I came to conclusion that this move is very interesting. Rook b8, keeping flexibility. Not necessary that I want bishop on b7. Maybe, maybe it will go to a6 one day. Why not? Uh, so with, with bishop a6 move so I want to keep it flexible of course playing rook b8 I'm targeting b2 also and uh, this is one line um, now a very interesting idea that I, I remember when um, I I was working with a uh, England team uh, during the first Olympiad uh, the first time that I worked with them in 2016 um, I, I, I got uh, the, the home assignment to prepare someone for this variation and to be honest I was so focused in Catalan so that I had no idea about the theory and back then I just I felt like this this idea really looks interesting it's very unusual uh, so the idea to activate the queen so of course e5 pawn uh, allows uh, white very significant space advantage on the king side so why not to attack and uh, after that, there were a lot of interesting games. I, I remember Dean Cluren against Car Caruana. Very, very fun, fascinating game. So here there is a new trend for black. So not to rush with the castle. Not to rush with the castle, which scores amazingly well for white. But to play bishop b7. And the whole point after queen f4, we have this tricky idea. First, to start a6. After knight c3, strike with move g5. Absolutely fascinating strategy here. Now, knight g5, well, queen g3, we can do h5, rook g8, and the pawn is hanging, so he has to take, and then we just take, take everything and take on d4, and it's uh, pretty comfortable equality here for black. 
played by very strong players. So we kind of like very, very proud of uh, this uh, the, this discovery because I, I really when I started I felt like that would be a lot of headache. But by the way, interesting enough here I uh, instead of a six there have been uh, many games where Black tried this strategy to play queen d7 followed by queenside castle. And strangely enough, there are like quite a lot of games here, but I discovered that nobody played d5 in this position. And I, I have the feeling that white should be at least slightly better in this position after knight d5. Now, it goes without saying that e d5 runs into e7 and uh, knight c7 come in. Uh, th that's a winning threat here. So we have to take uh, knight d5 and then queen c4. And I, I feel like in some sense uh, it's, it's favorable for white to get rid of d4 pawn which is potentially uh somewhat a weakness and the, this position i mean it's not such a big advantage but i think since the c file is open we can castle queen side we have to settle for king side castle and then with the pawn on a5 queen will come back to g4 and it will be dangerous so overall again i just gave you a few remarks about like few directions uh so I, I, I'm really impressed with this line for black because always there is a choice, a uh, number of ideas. Well, the same applies to definitely white as well. Very, very complicated, complicated positional fight. Uh, a lot of fascinating games here in this variation. You can see a line played by very strong players. Um, like, for instance, I, uh, a few games by... Indian prodigy Pragnananda, uh, I mean, with very, very interesting ideas. So he's definitely very strong in theory. Um, I hope, guys, you you will enjoy, you'll find this interested. And for those who will be uh, interested to download the file, to purchase it, like you will go, uh, I'll, I'll put the link in the description to my webpage, askavrok.com. And uh, I hope it will bring you great results for black especially if you maybe uh, kind of like experience some difficulties with this move order, knight c3, knight f3. So I think nowadays it's a great solution. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you very soon on the next video.